Today we're gonna be real, and for some of you, this is gonna be really encouraging because you're gonna realize, hey, I'm on the right path. For others of you, this is probably gonna step on your toes, might burst a few bubbles, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm telling you because I care and I want you to succeed. I want you to find success in storytelling. So I wanna just be candid with you and give you some harsh advice. And honestly, these are probably some things that you need to hear or maybe just be reminded of. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking if you're finding value, for subscribing if you haven't done that. Please be sure to check out links below. There's a free guide that might be helpful to you. So be sure to check those out. Thank you again for watching. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in. When screenwriters start out, we all have dreams of seeing our name on the big screen. And those are great dreams to have. And I don't want you to discard them. I want you to keep them. Those are great dreams. So hold on to those. The problem is reading a few books doesn't make you a screenwriter. There are some harsh truths out there that you have to confront. And we're going to try to confront those. So I'm going to give you five things today, just five pieces of kind of harsh advice. And hopefully this is going to be helpful to you. I hope it's encouraging to you, but it will give you a better perspective of where you're at and where you should be heading. Number one, you are not original. Now, I'm sorry to say that, but you're not. Now, as a person, you are unique, for sure, 100%. You're unique. But as far as ideas go, you're not original. I'm sorry. Whatever you're thinking of, somebody else has thought of it. Well, how am I supposed to get noticed? How am I supposed to you know, tell an original story? Okay, the thing is, ideas are not original. Characters and circumstances and your writing voice are original. You need to be working on creating your writing voice, crafting your voice, and that takes time, it takes practice, it takes honing the skills of the craft. It also takes a solid understanding of story and of character and of building characters because you can take a unique character that you have created with your unique voice, put in an idea that's been done before, and you can have a great story that feels original but it's not original. So get out of your head that you're gonna have original ideas because you're not original. Number two, a screenplay is not a magic ATM. You have to learn the craft. You have to study the craft. You have to practice the craft. And a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm just gonna read a book. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna write a screenplay. I'm gonna sell it for a lot of money. That's not how it works. You've gotta practice the components. You gotta know what a scene is. I mean, how can you possibly fix a scene if you don't even know what a scene is? How can you possibly fix a character arc if you never planned one to begin with and you don't even really know what it is? You've got to study these things and figure out what they are so that you can write better stories and write more effectively. Number three, stop looking for representation. Most new writers, one of their first questions, one of their immediate questions is, how do I find an agent? Where do I find an agent? How do I find a manager? That's the wrong question. The right question you should be asking at this point, because you're starting out, is how do I write a good story? How do I tell a good story? Those are more important questions. Once you're able to write a good story, to tell a good story, agents are gonna find you. Managers are gonna find you because you're placing in prestigious competitions, because your stuff is starting to get shared around town, people are starting to notice you. That's when they start reaching out to you. You just need to slow your roll, stop putting the cart so far in front of the horse, just back up, stop looking for representation, focus on the craft focus on telling a good story. If you can do that, you're gonna be in a much better place much faster. If you start asking, how do I get representation? You're asking the wrong questions and you're distracting yourself. It's gonna take you longer to get where you wanna go. Focus on story, focus on craft. I promise you're gonna get there. Number four, you are not the exception to the rule. I realize that a lot of you might think you are the next Tarantino, but you're not. There's one Tarantino and he already has a career and you're not him. Stop thinking you are the exception to the rule. You need to show in your writing that you can tell a good story, that you can play by the rules, that you can follow normal format. Now that doesn't mean you can't break some of the rules, okay? So you can break some rules. There are rules that can be broken, rules that can be bent. But you also have to show that you can play within the craft, that you are a good member of the screenwriting community. You've got to show that you can craft a solid story, that you can tell it well, and you can do it in the medium of screenwriting. So that is what your task is. You need to be focusing on those things. Stop thinking, well, I'm the exception to the rule. I'm just not going to have a third act. I'm not going to have a first act. I'm going to put the inciting incident on page 50. Okay, you're done already. 
You're not the exception to the rule. You gotta show you can play within the rules, especially starting out. Once you establish yourself, okay, now you can start doing some other things. But initially you have to show you can play within this arena that you are a good member of the screenwriting community, that you know how to craft a good story, you know how to tell a good story, then you can start branching out. But until then, you need to realize you are not the exception to the rule. Number five, and this one's gonna sound a little counterintuitive if the others haven't already, but rejection is a good thing, if. Okay, and this is a big if. The if is if you are learning from it if you are taking notes that when you get them, if you are trying to apply them, if you're just writing your story and you're like, oh, this thing is brilliant, and you just start sharing with people and they're rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it, and you're like, they just don't recognize my brilliance. Okay, now you have a problem. But if you can start to understand why they're rejecting it, maybe something isn't working. When you get notes from people, how do you incorporate them? You have to learn that rejection can be a good thing. When somebody says, no, this isn't working, are you processing and how are you figuring out how to make it better? You have to wrestle with making it better. You should always approach every script almost with this attitude. What can I learn from writing this script? And you learn and you write, and then the next one you write is better, and the next one you write is better. Professionals, nobody wants to just like settle. Every next script, they want it to be better than the next. I want it to be better than the next. We all want it to be better than the next. So you have to treat rejection as a learning opportunity, not as some slight against you personally. It's not, it's against the work, okay? The work is not working. And sometimes people just don't mesh with it. Yeah, that's totally true. But sometimes there's things that aren't working and you have to understand and figure out how to apply the notes that they're giving you to fix what is broken within your story or within your storytelling. And the faster you can process rejection, the faster you can close the gap between what you imagine the story is and what you're crafting. So you imagine in your head, here's this awesome story over here. I want to tell this story and you imagine, you see it in your head, but then when you write it on paper, it's like over here and you're like, wow, this is nothing like this. The more you can process rejection, the more you can process notes, the faster you're gonna be able to close this gap. So then you're starting to write what you see. Closes the gap, now you're writing excellently, and that's what we want. Another way to close that gap is to spend some time learning the craft. I have a class, as I'm recording this, it's gonna be live in a couple of weeks. It's, there's a link below, Screenwriting Fast Track. It helps you focus on what are the fundamentals of screenwriting, okay? It talks about character, we talk about building scenes, we talk about software, we talk about formatting, we talk about character arcs, all kinds of things. If that's of interest to you, click on the link below, check it out. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. If it has, please like, subscribe, bell, all that. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget links below. I'm sorry about the harsh advice, but you know, sometimes we just need people to tell us the honest truth. So hopefully this is encouraging to you, or at least helps get you on a better path. And I want you to find success so that when you tell a story, you tell a story that matters. See you later.